What if they lose control of their car? That go there goes one of my kids. Neighbors fear reckless drivers are putting their kids at risk. We first told you about dangerous drivers burning rubber on residential streets in the northeast part of town. Now cops are cracking down. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live near Hollywood and Sahara with more tonight for us. Christopher. Trisha, take a look at these signs. They read 15 miles an hour, children at play. Parents we speak with say reckless drivers around here completely ignore them. 13 Action News first showed you dangerous drivers burning rubber on a quiet residential street near Charleston and Fogg. They drag race and they drift outside the houses. Jen Perry lives just blocks away. She tells us the same thing is happening in her neighborhood. They go at high speeds, at least 45 miles an hour, up this tiny little cul-de-sac. Perry does not want to show her face on camera, fearing retaliation. She tells us reckless drivers race up and down the street right in front of her home. Revving their engines and then took off like a bat out of hell. Paris is a mom of three young children. Now I have the fear of do I let my kids come out and play with me here or do I have to keep them uh, secluded in the backyard? What if they lose control of their car? That go there goes one of my kids. A neighbor sent 13 Action News these pictures showing skid marks along Ambercrest Street saying these are the culprits. It can be like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and they're racing up and down the streets, um, skidding all over and revving the engine. This woman would only give us the name Karen. She complains screaming engines and screeching tires frighten her young granddaughter. She's like, you know, wanting to sleep with us because it wakes her up. It wakes all of us up. Karen tells us she complained to police one time, but someone vandalized her daughter's car as payback. And the next morning she had a switchblade in her tire. Now, police tell us they put some of the drivers in question on notice. They visited local high schools and they are beefing up patrols. We are live. Christopher King, 13 Action News. Thank you, Christopher. And tonight, 13 Action News is getting results for people in the northeast part of the valley. Last night, Jamie Hamilton told us about reckless drivers in her neighborhood. Less than a day after our story aired, she says Metro officers took action and after a half hour, they pulled over four vehicles.